Brandon, uh, just you know, coming off that performance against Miami, I mean, uh, how would you guys describe that loss? Oh, the, the, the loss was heartbreaking. The game overall, we played a great game offensively, defensively. Um, it came down to the last drive of the game, as you guys saw. I felt like both ends of the ball, we, we played our hearts out. Um, unfortunately, we didn't come out with the win, but it showed a lot. It showed our character. It showed a lot about how this team has has transformed from week one and just how, how far we like came down the road. And um, I think it was a good test for us. And it was a good test, you know what I'm saying, for ourselves to know that we can play with any competition that we have on our schedule. Yeah, you, you and you seem kind of upbeat, you know what I mean, off of that loss or whatever. I mean, just talk about the team morale right now moving forward, you know, with still so much to accomplish. Definitely. The team morale, um, we're, we're very uplifting. We're, 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 very, uh, we're very set on our, our goals for the rest of the season. That, like I said, that loss was, was a test of our character, and it, it showed how, how we um, overcome battles and just what we can do in our full potential. And knowing that gives you the best confidence in the world for these next four games that, that are approaching. We have a tough schedule. We have four good opponents we have to play in, two more wins to get both eligible. So it's just, it's just a great feeling going into the, the last four weeks of the season, know, knowing that you can't reach that goal. Talk to me about what Grove had to say to you guys uh, after that game and, and just moving forward and just kind of keeping it. Grove was very proud of us after the game. Like, like I said, we lost the game. It was an unfortunate outcome. Him, us, the team, we wish we could have got the win, but he was very proud of us. He liked the way we fought. he never seen that out of us this season. And like I said, we're, we're growing as a team each and every week, and he sees that in us. And he was, he was very proud of us. Obviously, he wanted the win. We also wanted the win, but we have four more games to get that. So we're, we're, we're good. And, yeah, just talk about those four more games. You need two more to become right. eligible and whatnot. And, and you guys feel good about Yeah, we got um, – Duke, Syracuse, Florida State, Vanderbilt, four good opponents. Duke's bowl eligible, six and two. Florida State's undefeated. Vanderbilt, SEC. Uh, Syracuse, great team. And uh, we're just taking it week by week. Um, any team can get beat at any time. Um, they're four good opponents, four good running backs, four good offensive de defenses, all around uh, packages. And um, like I said, that Miami, that Miami loss gave us the confidence, though, to go into these four next four games knowing that we can play with anybody. And um, I think that was just a, that was a good thing for us. Uh, we got the, the loss, but it was a good, it was a good, like I said, test of our character and just a good outcome for us going to these next four games. For Syracuse, as far as uh, what they'll be bringing to the field uh, on the offensive side of the ball? Um, offensive side of the ball, from what I've seen, um, it reminds me a lot of Boston College, just a big, hefty running back, uh, number 45. He's a great running back, just like Andre Williams. Um, their quarterback, Terrell Hunt, great, great quarterback, great offensive line. So. It's, it's going to be a game, and um, it's going to be a test for our defense. They're a great team. Um, it'll just it'll be a battle. What year are you, by the way? I'm a redshirt sophomore. Sophomore, okay. But so you were a redshirt the year, I think it was two years ago. You got yeah, I was, I was a redshirt that year. Were you there? Did you get to see that environment? Nah, not at all. Um, I didn't get to travel that week because it was earlier in the season. But um, I was with the guys, uh, the, the redshirts that didn't travel that, that week, and we watched the game, and we just we could tell the environment. We saw the dome. We just – we felt the the felt the spirit from the team and just just the atmosphere through watching watching the game on TV and, and um and I just talking to the players I can imagine it's a great experience so yeah what are they telling you uh, the ones that, that were there like some of the seniors that are on their side? oh I mean they're telling me it's loud it's a it's a dome obviously um it's a nice dome it's hot it's just be prepared you know what I'm saying be prepared for battle it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a hard one so.